Okay. So welcome everybody um, welcome. to Lifeline and to our, our monthly annual and online event. Today we're going to be celebrating Developmental Disability Awareness Month. So usually okay. we do that as a way, what we call it is celebrating what we can do. Because usually people just tell us what we can't do, right? But there's lots of things we can do. So we're going to do Those some of that today. We're going to start okay. with a, a little poem. And then um, in that, with that poem, we've put together a slideshow because we thought it would be nice to see folks that we haven't been seeing for a while. I see that Amanda and Harold just got on. I have pictures of each of them so they can look for themselves in the slideshow. Okay. And then we have some awards to hand out from, you know, last year we didn't meet because we shut down just before this, just wow. before this event. So these are awards from 2020 and, and we're very excited to be able to hand these out to folks. And then after that, we're going to do a little movement. Anya's going to get us moving around a little bit so we won't be sitting too long. And then we're going to end with a game. So okay. Jennifer, if you're ready, I'm gonna I'm ready. share my screen and um, get us going. Yep, get us going. Where's Jennifer? Oh. Okay. The Human Family by Maya Angelou. I note the obvious differences in the human family. Some of us are serious and some thrive on comedy. Some declare their lives are lived as true profundity and others claim they really live the real reality. The variety of our skin tones can confuse, bemuse, delight, brown and pink and beige and purple, tan and blue and white. I've sailed upon the seven seas and stopped in every land. I've seen the wonders of the world, yet not one common man. I know 10,000 women called Jane and Mary Jane, but I've not seen any two who really were the same. Mirror twins are different, although their features jibe, and lovers think quite different thoughts while living side by side. We love and lose in China. We weep on England's moors. We laugh and moan in Guinea and thrive on Spanish shores. We seek success in Finland, are born and die in Maine. In minor ways, we're different. In major, we're the same. I note the obvious differences between each sort and type, but we are more alike, my friends, than we are unalike. We are more alike, my friends, than we are unalike. We are more alike, my friends, than we are unalike. Mm -hmm. Lovely. And now I am going to turn this over to Jennifer, who is going to uh, post you through our awards. Okay. okay. All right. So. Hold on. <laughs> So we are going to, we're giving out four awards today. And the first award is for Volunteer of the Year. And Andy Hackett, who's the Vice President of Lifeline, is going to give that award. So let me add him and I'll remove myself. And take it away, Andy. All right, thank you. Hello, everyone. I'm Andy Hackett. As Jennifer said, I'm the Vice President of the Board of uh, Lifeline Partnerships, and I am very happy to be here with you all today and very happy to present the Volunteer of the Year Award to Mr. Herb King. <laughs> Herb is uh, about the most amazing volunteer you could possibly imagine. Um, and for as long as I've been involved in Lifeline, Herb has been uh, at almost every event, uh, whether it's uh, in the kitchen, at the dances, helping uh, prepare food, or at the auctions, where his um, 
baked goods have always been like the prize possession, like the greatest award, Amen. the greatest thing you could win in the <laughs> raffle. Um, I've been lucky enough to, to win a couple of uh, herbs, cakes, and pies over the years, and they are fantastic. Everybody wants them. Everybody loves them. And uh, I mean, you just can't say enough about herbs, uh, dedication or commitment to lifeline partnership. But uh, one small example of how um, integrated into Lifeline Partnership, Herb King is, he's not only married to a board member, but his son is also a board member. So can you, can you pop that? And, you know, aside from, in addition to, to all of those wonderful things, Herb and his family have opened up their house for Lifeline events. Um, and uh, Lifeline just would not be the same without the efforts of, uh, of Herb. And that is why he deserves the Volunteer of the Year Award. Congratulations, Mr. King. Yay! Woo-hoo! Oh, do you want to say something? Um, um, yes. Uh, I just can't wait to do the the chili with Pastor Tom. <laughs> <laughs> we have to make it, um, we have to do it so we will know which chili is the better one <laughs> instead of being speculative. <laughs> but, uh, thanks a lot for your kind words. Her. <laughs> okay, great. So just for folks who don't know, um, Pastor Tom thinks he should be the annual winner every year. <laughs> and then when Herb entered, it was not only was it his first time entering the chili contest, it was his first time making chili. Did I get that's right, right? First time ever making chili. And guess what? He came in first place. <laughs> so I, I see a potential chili cook off in our near future. He doesn't even eat chili. <laughs> that, that was it. He doesn't eat chili. Yeah. That's because he threw an apple pie inside the chili. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay, great. All right, so we'll move on to the next award, which is the Caregiver of the Year. Um, so I'm going to present I, that, so I will. Yeah, I don't know if Kelly made it on. She, she tried to call me, and I couldn't catch the call. So okay. hopefully she'll figure it out and join okay. us. All right. All right, I don't see her right now. Okay, so two years ago, we realized that we were missing, in terms of who we were honoring, we were missing a pretty significant um, component of our community, which is the caregiver. Um, caregivers for us, they're the frontline workers. You know, they make sure that folk, they provide transportation, they provide support, um, they provide kindness. They're just really important for, for us as an organization and then also for everyone who comes to our events. Um, so this year, um, the person that we are going to give the award to is, she's really a genius when it comes to working with adults with developmental disabilities. Um, she has a calling for this work. Her focus is on helping people achieve their best selves. And she works tirelessly to ensure that everyone is treated with dignity and with respect. Um, prior to the shutdown, she would come every, almost every Sunday with Ryan King to Faith and Friends. And she would always jump in to assist with whatever, whenever, whatever needed to happen. And she is always a delight to be with. Um, her, she spreads warmth and kindness wherever she goes. And so I am talking about the incomparable Kelly Martin. So, we, so she's, I'm just personally looking forward to being able to see her when we are back in session. Okay. All right. So hopefully she'll jump in later and we can show her. All right, so the, the next award is the George Harshaw Award for Participant of the Year. And Andy's going to present that as well. So let me get him back here. Andy. Oh, and John hey, Preby joined Jeff. us. Great. Okay, I'm also so, going to, I'm going to, I'm going to actually put the Harshaw family on because they're a really important part nice. of this. So yeah, very good. Okay. So George Harshaw was a board member and an active participant at uh, Lifeline. It was pretty much missed by us and his family. 
and his family decided that they would like to further honor Lifeline participants uh, with an award uh, and a financial gift along with the trophy. So these, uh, this award and that um, donation will be sent along to the winner of the George Harshaw Jr. Participant of the Year Award and the 2020 recipient is Mr. Elgin Warren. Elgin uh, was was visible in a number of those uh, photographs that were part of the slideshow. Uh, he's someone that you would see at pretty much every Lifeline event. Uh, fantastic uh, gentleman and, and just a you could tell his enjoyment at all of the events that we have, dances, um, the Harvest Festival, and he's always um, one of the last people to leave. He would always stick around and help clean up afterwards. Just um, a joy to be around and a uh, very much deserving recipient of the Participant of the Year Award. I cannot wait, and I know the rest of the Lifeline uh, community cannot wait to keep, be back together again in person mm -hmm. to see um, Elgin at his finest. Oh. Yeah, thank you. Yay! Yay. 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 Okay. Thank you, Andy. Do you, does the Harshaw family want to say anything? Well, they <laughs> I have any words to say. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. We, we, congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. All right. Well, thank you all very much. We really, we truly miss George like nobody's business. Yeah, it's, it's great to see the Harshaw family and Lois and the girls. Or the hey. girls. <laughs> <laughs> I, knew them when, I knew them when they were girls. <laughs> all right. So, so the next award is going to be the Harlan Olkey Award. And Tom, Pastor Tom Knoll, is going to present that. Well, thank you, President Nye, for that introduction. Now my phone rings. Can you get that? <laughs> I, I've, I, I hope you can all hear me clearly. I've been very busy this Saturday morning trying different chili recipes. <laughs> <laughs> I can beat Herb. Uh, you know, I've got a, a, a high bar to, to clear. So I'm, I'm hoping that with this call will be over soon, so I can get back to those chili recipes. <laughs> Six of them, uh, try from mild to hot. <laughs> Let me just explain a little bit about Harlan Oki. Harlan Oki was the one of the founders of Lifeline Partnership. Uh, at the beginning, it, it had uh, several other names. I won't go into our different names of Lifeline Partnership, but it's it's well over 50 years old. Harlan was one of the founding members. He was the president at one time. He was the treasurer at one time. He was the vice president at one time. He, he held all offices, the secretary as well. He was the consummate volunteer, not only at, at, at Lifeline Partnership, but at all things that, that he was a member at First Trinity from, uh, he grew up in Kansas. His daughter, Amelia Tietzman, uh, Oki still uh, is a member of First Trinity. Uh, so Harlan has passed away uh, for some time now. We, we miss Harlan greatly, but we came up with this award because uh, there was no other person like Harlan, and there will probably never be. I mean, I, I, I kind of live my life like Harlan. I try to volunteer like Harlan and, and try to model my life after Harlan. So the, this year, the award goes to a person who can't be with us. Uh, she's having internet uh, problems at her home, and you know, when you get a service provider to come to your home, you got to stop all things and make sure that they can fix it. Otherwise, you may not see them for the next couple of weeks or months. So, uh, this year, uh, the award goes to, to Jane Fox Johnson. Let's hear it for Jane. Yay! Jane uh, has helped our board. Uh, kind of re reorganized, helped us get some new board members, helped us get some grants. I think uh, probably ten to fifteen thousand dollars in funds uh, that she uh, was able to raise. Just an, as an aside, uh, some years ago we built a building that is attached to C to the First Trinity. It's the CFLS building. Uh, many of you have been in in the CFLS building. 
uh, where we uh, help homeless families. Jane helped me raise three thousand, three mixed three thousand, three million dollars to complete that building. So Jane, uh, she started her career in fundraising at the Arena Stage as the development director there. Some of you have been to plays at the Arena Stage. Uh, Jane is a, a longtime uh, Washingtonian. Her father, uh, uh, Richard Fox, has passed away some years ago, who's also a member of First Trinity. So anyway, Jane can't be with us. Uh, she'll be watching the recording of this. So congratulations, Jane. We love you. And next time you can find five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 for Lifeline. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you very much. So thank that you. that concludes the award portion. Just one one more point. Her father, who was ambassador, um, was on the Lifeline board also. Richard mm -hmm. Fox, right. a retired ambassador with the U.S. State Department. Thank you, John. Is Pastor, is Pastor Tom still on? Yes. Do you remember John or Pastor Tom, what country he was? I know it was in the Caribbean. Well, if I told you, you're going to be very jealous, but it was uh, um, uh, Timb Timbago? There's Trinidad? Trinidad and Tim Tr 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 Timbago. Very beautiful country. Well. <laughs> <laughs>